Hey guys! So today I wanted to do just kind of like a chill video. Um, so I have a little pot here and in this pot are little scraps of paper. So this is the same pot that I used for my bracket for 2022, like finding my favorite 2022 book. And I still had the papers in here. So what I did was I just added the names of all the books that I've read in 2023 so far and I'm going to play reread rewrite or burn with the books from 2022 and 2023. I got this idea because I've seen Jashana um, do this on her channel like I feel like she's done it a bunch of times and it always just seems like fun. It, um, it just seems kind of entertaining when she does it so hopefully you will find it entertaining when I do it. But just to kind of compare some of the books that you've read, how they match up against each other. So I figured this would be like a nice just kind of chill video to do just sitting at my desk, you know, whatever. Um, so yeah, that's what we're gonna do today. If you're interested, you can keep watching. So I'm just gonna pick out three at a time and I'm gonna choose which one I would reread, re which one I would rewrite, and which one I would burn, which would be like my least favorite of the three. So here we go. I have one, the 12 week year, two is Well Traveled by Jen DeLuca, and three is Not a Happy Family by Sherry Lapina. Okay, so of these three, I would reread Well Traveled because I love the Walmart series so much. Um, I would rewrite the 12 week year because I feel like it was kind of repetitive and a little bit dry. I would try to make it a little bit more entertaining, I guess, for a nonfiction self-help type book. I don't know if that's possible, but I would burn Not a Happy Family. It was okay, but it wasn't like one of my favorite thrillers ever. All right, moving on. We have Anything You Can Do by R.S. Gray. It's a romance. Crave by Tracy Wolf. It's part of, oh, well, it is the first book in the Crave series. And Throne of Glass. Okay, I would reread Throne of Glass because that's such a long series and I kind of took a pause after the third book and now I forget what happened. So I just feel like I would reread all of them. Um, I would rewrite Anything You Can Do. I did really like this book, but I mean, I would prefer to reread Throne of Glass, so that's really the only reason. And Crave I would burn. I would burn that whole series. <laughs> it wasn't terrible, but like, you know, there's lots of other teen, you know, YA paranormal type stuff to read. There's always more, so... Okay, next round we have Second First Impressions by Sally Thorne, Not So Nice Guy by R.S. Gray, and I'm Glad My Mom Died. Okay, so I would reread I'm Glad My Mom Died. I would rewrite Not So Nice Guy. Uh, not for any reason except for the fact that I would definitely burn Second First Impressions. I did not like this book at all. Nothing will ever live up to the hating game, <laughs> I don't think, so. All right, moving on. We have The Dragon Reborn by Robert Jordan. We have A Discovery of Witches by Deborah Harkness and Book Lovers by Emily Henry. Okay. I would reread Book Lovers because that book is amazing. I would rewrite The Dragon Reborn. Um, it could have been shorter. Is that an unpopular opinion? <laughs> um, honestly, if you want my serious, like, not so hot take on Wheel of Time so far, I would just get Rand out of the book entirely somehow. And A Discovery of Witches I would burn. That was not my favorite series. It was very slow and I prefer my books faster paced than that. So next we have Four Aunties and a Wedding by Jesse Q. Sutanto, Shadow of Night by Deborah Harkness, and The Monarchs by Cass Morgan and Daniel Page. Um, 
I would reread the Monarchs. Um, the Ravens duology is about a college uh, sorority who happens to be a coven of witches. So in order to get in, you obviously have to be a witch. It was really good. I would re I, I would rewrite Four Aunties in a Wedding, maybe bring the slapstick down just a little bit. Like I really liked it. But by the end of the book, it was like, okay, this is a little too much of the same humor. And Shadow of Night, again, I would burn it. It's just such a slow series. It's from A Discovery of Witches. All right, next. The Light We Carry by Michelle Obama. Uh, Dial A for Aunties by Jesse Q. Sutanto. And Date Me Like You Mean It by R.S. Gray. Um, if I'm going fast through these, it's because I there's 80 books in here, so I want to kind of keep this moving. I would reread The Light We Carry by Michelle Obama. Um, this is also going to be a little bit of a spoiler for what I read in May because I have not done my wrap up yet. That should be coming next week. Um, but yeah, The Light We Carry by Michelle Obama, five stars. Amazing. Reread, for sure. Um, I would, oh, I dropped it. I would probably rewrite Dial A for Aunties again, just because by the end of the book that slapstick kind of humor was a little much for me, um, but I did really enjoy it. And I would probably burn Date Me Like You Mean It only because I read so much R.S. Gray, I honestly don't even remember what this one was, but even if I burn this one, there are so many more. So, sorry, we're just gonna burn that <laughs> for no other reason either. Um, a plus one for murder. I don't remember who wrote it, but it was a cozy mystery. Um, Parable of the Sower by Octavia E. Butler. And oh, my computer monitors just went off. The Fastest Way to Fall. I don't remember who wrote this either, but it was about a plus size woman and the owner, like the CEO of a fitness app. Um, okay, so, oh, I liked all of these books. I would probably reread Parable of the Sower um, just to see if there's anything else I could get out of it. I gave Parable of the Sower three stars. I gave Parable of the Talents 4.5 stars. So I almost feel like if I went back to Parable of the Sower after reading Parable of the Talents, I might like it more. So I would reread that. I would rewrite a plus one for murder. I don't know what I would do to it. Maybe I would change the location. I can't say that because I don't remember where it took place, but I like cozy, uh, cozy mysteries that take place in New England, like the Northeast US. So if it didn't take place there, maybe I would make it take place there. <laughs> if it did take place there, then I would find something else. I don't know. Um, and The Fastest Way to Fall, I would burn. I didn't hate this book, but it wasn't like a new favorite either. So yeah, I don't know. The relationship was kind of icky to me. So, I don't know. I mean, it wasn't like icky, but it was like very unbelievable. I don't know. I would burn it. It's okay. Moving on. We have Spy Family Volume 1. Love the One You Hate by R.S. Gray. And Murder on Cape Cod, which again, cozy mystery. This one does take place in the Northeast U.S., and it was good. So um, I would probably reread Murder on Cape Cod because I liked that cozy mystery. I... Okay. I would rewrite Love the One You Hate. Um, not for any particular reason. Again, I feel like it's kind of similar to all the other R.S. Gray. Maybe I would do something to switch it up. And that leaves Spy Family Volume 1 to burn, which, don't get me wrong, I enjoyed this volume of Spy Family, but I also feel like nothing happened. So I would probably burn this one and just keep the rest of the series. Somehow manage to work whatever did happen in this one into Volume 2 and then just carry on from there. Does that make sense? I don't know. But moving on. All right. So we have The Inheritance Games by Jennifer Lynn Barnes, Court by Tracy Wolf, 
and Lore Olympus Volume 1. Okay, so this is very easy. Um, I would reread The Inheritance Games, loved that book. Lore Olympus Volume 1 I would rewrite only because there was a little bit of confusion for me when I read this book just because it did like a little bit of jumping around and it took me a while to wrap my mind around it. I think that was just me. It wasn't the book's fault. Um, and then maybe I would also do something with the art style because it wasn't my favorite. Uh, and Court I would burn. I I'm sorry Tracy Wolf, but pretty much if like whatever books in that series come up they're probably just gonna be the burn because it was just such like a it was a good time while I was reading it but it was just such a generic kind of series I don't know um Dr. Dearest by R.S. Gray Well Matched by Jen DeLuca and Simply Clean um this was just a book about cleaning your house so I would reread Well Matched, loved it. That might have been my favorite in the series. Um, I would rewrite Dr. Dearest. Dr. Dearest was a lot like anything you can do. So I would probably, wait, was this the brother's best friend? I think this was a brother's best friend actually, which is not my favorite. So I would just rewrite the whole book from scratch, probably. Um, and I would burn Simply Clean because who really likes cleaning their house? Just kidding. I got everything out of it that I needed, so I can burn it. I already know all the information. It's fine, right? Okay. Uh, we have The Shadows Between Us. Don't remember who wrote it. Didn't really like it. Um, The Alloy of Law by Brandon Sanderson. And Crown of Midnight. Okay. I would... Okay, first of all, I can tell you right now, I would burn the shadows between us. Not my jam. It was uh, supposed to be a fantasy romance, but it was just another book about a girl just wanting more power than she has and like doing anything to get it. And that's not really my favorite. Um, I would... Okay, I would reread The Alloy of Law because I loved it. So I would want to reread it. And I would rewrite Crown of Midnight. But I don't really remember much about Crown of Midnight. So like, what would I rewrite about it? I don't know. Just make it more memorable, I guess. I don't know. But if I reread Crown of Midnight, then I would remember what it's about. And if I rewrote Alloy of Law, I could just change the name Waxilium. So maybe I'll do that. Even though I really loved Alloy of Law, I would reread. Okay, yeah. I would reread Crown of Midnight and I would rewrite The Alloy of Law, but the only thing I would change is the name Waxilium. I would just shorten it to Wax officially because Waxilium is just stupid, okay? It's just stupid. Next, The Fortunate Ones, another R.S. Gray. 2022 was the year of R.S. Gray. Um, the Book of Life by Deborah Harkness and <clears throat> The Taming of the Shrew by William Shakespeare. Okay, so this might be an unpopular opinion. I would reread The Fortunate Ones because this was one of my favorite R.S. Gray. Um, this is about a girl who's working at a country club and she gets involved with one of the patrons there. I would reread that, I liked it. I would rewrite The Book of Life so that it wasn't as boring. I would make it a little bit more fast paced and I would burn The Taming of the Shrew. This is probably my least favorite Shakespeare play that I've ever read, so sorry. Sorry classic fans. Sorry Shakespeare fans. Um, I don't know what you'd be doing on my channel because I don't read a lot of classics, but... <laughs> okay, Death by Pumpkin Spice by Alex Erickson, I think? Um, A Feast for Crows by George R. R. Martin, and... I didn't even have one. Ah, uh, Parable of the Talents. Okay, so this one is easy. Again, Parable of the Talents, I would reread. I loved this book, I just finished it, and I would reread it right now. Um, A Feast for Crows, I would rewrite, and I would put some of my favorite characters in it. This book only involved, like, one of the characters that I actually really liked from Game of Thrones, so... Or, sorry, A Song of Ice and Fire. So I would rewrite it to include some of the characters that I really like. 
and death by pumpkin spice I would burn it wasn't bad there was nothing awful about it but the other two just fit so perfectly in their categories it just kind of has to be sacrificed okay but we're getting there uh, the Ravens by Cass Morgan and Danielle Page. The Queen of the Tearling by Erica Johansson. And a Not So Meet Cute by Megan Quinn. Okay, I would. Oh, okay. This one's kind of hard. I would reread The Ravens because, like I said, with The Monarchs, this is a great series. I enjoyed it so much. But then these two, I feel like I wouldn't really burn either of them, and I would love to rewrite both of them. Um, if I rewrote Queen of the Tearling, I would take out a little bit of the fantasy elements and make it lean more towards the other genre that it falls into. Um, and if I rewrote I'm Not So Meet Cute, I would just make it a little shorter because it was very long. All right, I'm gonna reread Queen of, I mean, rewrite Queen of the Tearling. Like I said, I'm gonna lean it a little bit away from fantasy, surprisingly. Um, but also I feel like I heard that that's kind of how the second book goes anyway. So I would make the first book match the second book. I don't know. And I would burn on Not So Meet Cute. I didn't hate it. It was just long, so sorry. Uh, okay, we have Nor by Nettie Okorafor. Charm by Tracy Wolf and The Great Hunt. Okay, this one is easy. I would reread Nor by Nettie Okora for a sci fi. I enjoyed that. Um, I would burn Charm because, like I said, anytime anything from the Crave series comes up, I'm sorry, it's just easy to burn. And The Great Hunt, I would rewrite because I didn't enjoy it. That was probably my least favorite so far. Um, I didn't really care about the main storyline in that book. I liked the subplot better, so I would reread it so we got more of the subplot and less of the main plot. <laughs> okay, Fortuna Sworn. Stay Awake. Fortuna Sworn is by KJ Sutton. Stay Awake is by Megan Golden. And A Court of Wings and Ruin. Okay, I would... Reread Stay Awake because I liked that. Um, that was just like a thriller about a woman who woke up and she couldn't remember what happened to her, but she woke up with a bloody knife wrapped in a t-shirt and she had writing all over her hands saying stay awake. So she was trying to figure out what happened. That was good. I would rewrite Fortuna Swarm because I enjoyed this, but I feel like it was a little bit too slow. Um, yeah, that's all. I would just make it a little bit more fast paced and I would burn A Court of Wings and Ruin because it was my least favorite book in that series, the Court of Wings and Roses series. So, sorry. Um, I gotta move a little bit faster here. Okay, Black Sun by Rebecca Rowanhorse, The Hawthorne Legacy by Jennifer Lynn Barnes, and You Were There Too. Okay, right off the bat, I'm gonna burn You Were There Too because that book sucked. Um, that is a book about emotional cheating and I did not appreciate it. I would reread The Hawthorne Legacy because, again, love that series. Black Sun. If You Were There Too was not in this, I would have burned Black Sun. I did not enjoy this book. Um, but instead, I would just rewrite it and I would take out some of the, you know, abuse. <laughs> I just, I didn't enjoy that part of the book. Um, all right. Remote Control by Nettie Okorafor. The Mask of Mirrors by M.A. Carrick. And oh, a court of mist and fury. I forgot I reread this last year. Oh no. Oh no. Okay. Um. Oh no. I really don't know what to do. I loved. Okay. Well. Oh no. As soon as I saw Remote Control, I was like, okay, I'm going to rewrite this book because I feel like the ending of this book was just the beginning of the story, so I wanted more. Um, but then I pulled out A Court of Mr. and Fury and The Mask of Mirrors. I would reread The Mask of Mirrors. I would reread The Mask of Mirrors. Okay, so that's out of the way. A Court of Mist and Fury and Remote Control. I'm 
sorry, I just, I really love A Court of Mist and Fury. So I would have to rewrite A Court of Mist and Fury. I would do something to it to make it better. And Remote Control, I'm so sorry, you're gonna get burnt. You're gonna be burned. I'm pretty sure I reread Nor by Nettie Okora for though, so I don't feel quite as bad about it because Nor definitely was my favorite of the two. Um, okay, Nettle and Bone by T. Kingfisher, The Power of Habit by Charles Duhigg, and The Vanishing Half. Okay, I would burn The Power of Habit. I didn't like that. Um, I think I would reread The Vanishing Half and rewrite Nettle and Bone. I would make Bone Dog the main character. That's what I would do. Okay, so yes, I would reread The Vanishing Half and I would make Bone Dog the main character of Nettle and Bone. <laughs> Somehow. I don't know how, but I would do it. Uh, okay. Um, crescendo. The Fill-In Boyfriend by Casey West, Crescendos by Becca Fitzpatrick, and The off -limits. Can I burn all three of these? Because that's what I would do. Oh god, I hated The Off-Limits Rule. So okay, The Off-Limits Rule by Sarah Adams is a, definitely getting burnt. That book was terrible. Um, I guess I would rewrite The Fill-In Boyfriend to make the main character less insufferable. It's about a popular girl whose boyfriend breaks up with her right before prom or something. Um, so she like talks this other kid into being her fake boyfriend. I didn't, I didn't like her. Um, and Crescendo, which is the second book in the Hush Hush series, I guess I would reread that and hate every minute of it. <laughs> I didn't hate it. I think I actually gave it four stars, but you know. Okay, Punk 57 by Penelope Douglas. Finding Your Element. I don't remember who wrote that, but I didn't really like it. And The Final Gambit. Okay, so this one is another one that's really easy. Finding Your Element, burn that. Reread The Final Gambit and rewrite Punk 57. Um, Punk 57, I just feel like it could have been a little bit better. I don't know. I don't know if I could make it better, but I would try. Halloween Party Murder ancillary justice and air of fire okay i would reread air of fire i would rewrite ancillary justice so that it's a little bit less confusing it's a sci-fi um and yeah i spent half the book being confused by all the names and halloween party murder i would burn because i did not enjoy that at all so Behind Her Eyes by Sarah Pinborough. We're, we're getting there. We're almost done. Stick with me for a couple more minutes here. A Dance with Dragons by George R. R. Martin. And Pink is Not a Color. That book was so cute. Okay. Um, again, I wouldn't necessarily burn any of these, like, right off the bat. Um, okay, yes, I would. I'm going to burn behind her eyes. It was a good book, but it was basically about cheating. So, eh. Um, I would reread Pink is Not a Color because it was adorable. It was a little children's book about um, inclusion. The, the primary colors were being mean to Pink because she's not a primary color. So they were like, you're not a real color. And then, you know, all the other you know, whatever colors were like, yeah, you are, you're awesome. Okay. And I would rewrite a dance with dragons. I don't know, maybe make it a little shorter somehow. I feel like there was a little bit of filler in there. <laughs> oh. Burn too late by Colleen Hoover. The prisoner by B.A. Paris and hush hush by Becca Fitzpatrick. Okay. This one is easy. Obviously, like I said, burn too late because um the prisoner i would reread and hush hush by becca fitzpatrick i would rewrite for no other reason than you know early 2000s paranormal ya it can be better um legends and lattes by travis baldry ace i don't remember who the author was and the eye of the world okay this is 
Um, okay, Legends and Lattes reread, obviously. The Eye of the World, I'm going to rewrite again, get rid of Rand. <laughs> and that leaves Ace to burn, but okay, hear me out. Ace is a book about asexuality. Um, I enjoyed my read through. I think I got a lot out of it and there is a lot of information in it, but I read it once. I would not probably read it again. Like it's not something that I would go back to. So I'm going to say burn it, but I would never actually burn this book. I think everybody should read this book. It is very informational on a topic that a lot of people don't really know much about. So or like don't have a lot of understanding about. Um, and it also brings in a lot of, um, you know, talk about like privilege and stuff that you wouldn't necessarily think about if you don't really think about asexual people that often, I guess. I don't know. It had a lot of good information in it. I would read it. Um, I'll talk more about it in my wrap up next week. Hopefully, hopefully next week. Um, because I read that in May. And then, okay, there's five left, so I'm just gonna pick three and we're gonna go from there. Okay, The Spanish Love Deception by Elena Armas, Vow of Thieves by Mary E. Pearson, and Crush by Tracy Wolf. I am going to, well, actually, look at this. I'm switching it up here. I'm going to, no, I'm not, never mind. I'm gonna burn Crush by Tracy Wolf. I'm going to rewrite The Spanish Love Deception. I'm going to make it shorter and I'm going to make the main character, Lena, a little bit less insufferable. Aaron, I enjoyed. He can stay the same. That's fine. And I will reread Bow of Thieves because I love Mary E. Pearson. I've loved every one of her books that I've read. And then we just have two left. So let's just pick One Step Too Far and Covet. I would burn both of those. <laughs> so we're done. All right, so that's it for this video. I dropped a bunch of these little scraps of paper, so I need to go clean the office floor now. I hope you enjoyed this more kind of like chill, relaxed game style video. Let me know what you thought in a comment or leave me a like or whatever you wanna do. No pressure to do any of that, of course, as usual. But yeah, that's it. I will see you in the next one. Bye.